Today on Pal Flitter Mouse, we test flechettes. Do they deserve the reputation they have? This video would not have been possible without Anthony who sent these to us to test out. In the box he also had this card for the Veterans Crisis Line. Even though Anthony didn't ask me to show this card, I thought it was an important message to get out to everyone. Let's take a look at what makes this tick. Inside that thick sabo are 19 hardened steel darts with a total weight of only one third of an ounce. The sabo keeps the darts oriented in a straightforward direction and prevents any barrel damage from metal to metal contact. At the very bottom of the sabo is an aluminum disc to help support the darts so they don't go blasting through the base of the sabo. Packed around the fins are little plastic beads called buffer and what this does is keep the darts locked inside the sabo until it leaves the barrel at a velocity of 1925 feet per second. I think you'll agree that this looks like a really well thought out design. Now it's time to go out to the test facility and see how well these actually function. Okay, Hong Kong body armor, a piece of, uh, was it 10 millimeter thick? I don't know. It's fiberglass. Okay, let's see how it. Circuit board material. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I am ready. All right, here we go. Maybe too close of a range. We'll have to. We'll look. <laughs> I don't know if more range is going to help these or not. I could see on the high speed camera they were flying like garbage. Yeah, That's anyway. the only way to describe it. We got. Uh, one hit sideways down low, sideways, 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 and we got one broke off in here. Yeah, like you say, garbage. Yeah, it's it, it, it's just one though. We can't we can't say they're complete garbage. Maybe that was just a fluke. I don't know. Not very many actually hit that target at 10 yards. Two, three, that's four, eight five, by six, seven. I think that's a 10 inch by 10 inch uh, square. So we got six. Okay, they, they claim these are better than buckshot. What's your thinking on that so far? Uh, I'd stick with buckshot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't oh. know. My, my theory is on uh, long distance, let's say maybe 50 yards. <laughs> like but dark. they're going to be so spread out by then, you, you won't be able to. Well, well, maybe, maybe. Like a dart, they might have a chance to straighten okay. up. Okay, Danny's very optimistic. I like that, but. But <laughs> now, 10 yards, no bueno. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, I had high hopes for these things working. Now, what we see is a pretty wide spread for 10 yards. Most of the darts are tumbling through the air. A couple of them are flying straight, though. But if they're not going where you pointed them to go, that doesn't really help much. But this is just one test out of many, so maybe this is just a fluke. Let's see if the trend continues. In test number two, we'll see if these have the capability of penetrating Kevlar body armor. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Aha! Oh, we got one went through. One here, one here. Okay, okay. And we got an exit over here. So, will they go through body armor? Yes, maybe if you're lucky. Out of 19 darts, 17 of them tumbled, two of them went straight, and managed to go through the Kevlar. Those are not very good odds. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit and see what happened. While most of the darts are very erratic and flying sideways, two of them slipped by, those two, boom easily piercing the Kevlar and the water jug behind it. Now even though these things aren't functioning like we hoped, I still would not want to be downrange of them. Okay, we got the, the California Ballistic Gel there. That's that high dollar stuff, huh? No, that's the single ply. Ah, here we go. Two hit. Two hit. One here, one here. And we actually got full pass through. Here and here. Okay. Not enough even for a pinky wiggle. Would that 
Would that take out a wild hog? I don't know. Yeah. Out of 19 darts, two of them went through very cleanly. You could say that they wiped out that roll of toilet paper. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Okay, no more jokes. got one hit, hit keyhole, in and out. Man, this one's completely intact. This one didn't Lives check. for another day. <laughs> Is it better than Buckshot, Danny? Uh, not yet. <laughs> now, if you watch this channel, you know that Danny's a pretty good shot. 10 yards is not very far. Most of the darts flew above the cans. This test, we had a kind of a funky separation of the Sabo from the darts and for some reason they released really high, the projectiles must go where you're aiming. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? And now for the ballistic gel test. Danny is only about 10 feet away. The reason for this is we want most of the darts to hit the block. What did it do to the Franken gel? Well, it looked like one zipped straight through at really high speed. One. Like a couple of them here. Did I mention I hate casting that gel? Uh. And it looked like one just went, oh, it, it arced through the entire length of the gel. Okay. But that was at maybe nine or ten feet. That's where it exited, right here. Okay. It's hard to see, but there is a path. Okay. All the way through right here. Okay, are these better than buckshot? Not yet. <laughs> I think hog balls got these beat. Those hog balls. See, that company isn't afraid to send us test products because they know it works. We could show that it works. And, and this, companies like this, never send us anything. You know why? Because we'd make them look bad. <laughs> and thankfully we had a, a very generous uh, viewer who offered to send these to us and we thank him for that, Anthony. Oh, Anthony, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we show you great stuff and then we show you not so great stuff. Hey, Just We're not picky. And I'll be completely honest with you and I think you'll agree. If I only saw this one test, I would think that these flechettes are better than sliced buckshot. That is absolutely terrifying. But remember, that's maybe 10 feet away. And you already saw the other tests, which were at about three times that distance. For the next test, we're going to see if Danny's theory is correct, if they'll straighten out at much further distances. 35 yards at a big piece of cardboard. We got a little brush in front of it. It's kind of hiding there. We'll see if these, how many actually hit that target. We'll see how the better than buckshot round does. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Danny, did any of those hit? Yes, they did. Okay, okay. And uh, can you see them? Let me get this other way. And one, two, three. Then those went straight in. You can see the fins. And. I don't think anyone's going to hear you. There's something right in the middle there. Four. That one keyhole. <laughs> so, some of them hit, but... You have four of them hit straight on. And uh, one keyhole. Okay, they said they're better than Buckshot. Let's see what Buckshot does at 35 yards. Here we go. I don't think we ever tested flight control to that distance. It's like 20 yards or 25. 35 yards, nine pellets, nine pellets on target. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's impressive. Let's see. Did I count right? Three? Six, <laughs> yeah, nine. Yeah. Almost had to take my shoes off. <laughs> there you go. Better than bug shot in my, my book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flight control, that's some good stuff, man.
especially when you start reaching out further yards. At 50 yards, I don't know, flight control, that's probably beyond its range, you know? Well, anyway, thank you, Anthony, for sending those to us. I'm sorry they didn't work very well. But now we know. We're smarter now, right? That's it. Now you know the rest of the story. Yeah. <laughs>